Children's books like this one, written by a black author, were rare in the UK just 10 years ago. But things are changing. And I know growing up, I was reading books where there was no one that looked like me in those books. Um, and now people are taking the responsibility and taking matters into their own hand and writing books like myself. Rachel is one of a handful of black British authors using their storytelling to enact social and educational change. The hardest part was finding an illustrator who understands um, black skin tones and that black people don't have rosy cheeks and we have certain features. So I use my children's images to um, guide the illustrator um, to make sure the images look like my children. The 2021 census recorded that over 300,000 students in schools around the UK came from African and Caribbean backgrounds. Now, despite this, only 15% of books published included a black character. Now, although things do seem to be improving, researchers still say that black children do not have the same experience of literature as their white peers. For independent publishers like Louisa of Kunda Kids, the availability of black literature and history needs plenty of improvement. What really prompted us as parents was the fact that we saw how little representation there was for young people in children's literature around um, African history, African culture. The disparity in literature has changed over time. A new research revealed the proportion of children's books featuring a minority ethnic character has almost quadrupled in the last four years. When children fail to see themselves represented in the content they read and in the content that they enjoy, they recognise the world that they see through that content as true. And if they don't see themselves, they will regard themselves and their presence in spaces as less important. There is still some way to go before UK children's books accurately reflect the reality of the school population. But the speed of change serves to reinforce the benefits and tangible impact of diverse representation. Lape Alarinoye, TRT World.